failure. Hoping for a positive reaction, but the opposite occurs and it lets you down. It makes you feel really bad about your work and yourself. That's what I want 2021 to be. Alright, I, I sound crazy, I know, but when was the last time that you created something like a creative work, a short film, a YouTube video, or perhaps a drawing, and nobody liked it? All you got was negative feedback. For me, it's been a long time, and frankly, I cannot really remember anything I created getting a ton of negative reactions. Now, don't get me wrong, the stuff that I made was also never outstanding either. It has always been... average. You see, every YouTube video that I created was a safe bet. I knew upfront that it was going to get at least 90% upvotes. But that's not a measurement for success. It just tells you that what you made is not bad. So for those who don't know yet, I actually made a short film more than two years ago. The biggest project that I've ever worked on. Where can I see that, you might ask? Well, here's the thing. It's still not finished yet. If you want to hear the whole backstory, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. There's a video that I made once, but it basically comes down to not having time to finish it. And I'm also super scared to publish that. I'm scared because I have no idea what the reactions are gonna be. It might be a success, it could be another average upload, or it could be a complete failure. I don't know, and of course what I'm the most scared about is that it's going to be a complete failure. One of the reasons that I'm postponing this. So I've been thinking, what's the worst thing that could happen? You, you get a ton of negative reactions? And that's it. Now I could ignore all of those reactions and get angry at the people that don't understand my creative work, or I could listen and read every comment carefully, figure out what went wrong and learn from my failure. Because how else are you going to become a better filmmaker? If all you hear is, nice video dude, you think that you're always doing good, but in fact, you're not. You're just stuck. In order to grow, you need to try new things, experiment, take challenges and fail big time in order to see what you're doing wrong so that you can learn and grow as a creative. And I'll get into it in a moment, but Skillshare is one of those places where you can do that. You can learn a new craft, create something, and publish that for feedback from a teacher. It's the perfect way to fail and to learn from that failure. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, by the way. I'll talk more about them by the end of the video. So, here's what I've been doing for the past month. I haven't made an average YouTube video. Instead, I spent most of my time finishing that short film. And... It's finished. We have an edit lock. The visual effects are done, the color grading is done, everything is done except for the music and sound design, but someone else is gonna do that, so I sent everything over. In other words, the short film is almost done and ready to be published to YouTube for everyone to see. I'm still a little bit scared when I say that. I want to start taking risks because I feel like I'm stuck at a ceiling for the past couple of years. I want to break through, fail big time, and just learn from you guys, from feedback, so that I can just grow. Now, as a teacher myself on Skillshare, I also like to take classes. And one of my recent classes was about DIY cinematography from Ryan Booth. The lessons are very short, so I usually watch these while having a lunch or something. And he talks about some fundamental concepts, what makes a shot look cinematic. And the great thing is that he takes his concept as well into a practical example. A really interesting class that I can definitely recommend to anyone. And you know what? The great thing about Skillshare is that you can explore any of the thousands of creative classes on the platform with an active subscription. So it kind of works like Netflix. You can learn from our classes as well. We have a bunch about filmmaking and video editing. I'm also constantly working to publish new classes. All the teachers do that, by the way. So they're constantly adding new classes to the platform. Now the first 1,000 to click the link in the description down below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium and after that it is only less than $10 per month, so go check it out. Now I really want to thank everyone who helped out on the short film and I just hope that once it gets published that all those people are also proud about what they were part of. At least I am. I am very proud about this short film. I'm just scared because it is something that I've never done before. It is not a safe bet. And I also just want to say sorry to everyone that it took so long, but I can positively say now that it's almost finished and I'm looking forward to all of your feedback, whether that's going to be positive or negative. Thank you guys for watching and as always, 
stay creative. What's we're, going on here? We're afraid to format the card. <laughs> we are professionals. <laughs> we are professional scared people. No, we checked it, it's fine. They, we've, they won day two. Oh, I can go, go, huh? Oh. Let's just go upstairs. Oh. Ah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> You're fart, Lorenzo. <laughs>